you out there, but they're alive here. Well, I don't think that <laughs> no one has spread false claims. What they've said is that a small migrant community, 20,000, so it's big for the city of Springfield, but it's small compared to all Haitians in the United States of America, that that small migrant community has caused a lot of problems. It's led to higher rates of communicable diseases. That's a verifiable fact. It's led to animals disappearing. Many of my constituents have said that has been happening. It's led to higher home prices. That is a verifiable fact. So this influx has led to a lot of poverty in Springfield. No, 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 let me finish. Let me, let me, let me, let me finish the question, excuse me. City officials have said that's not true. They that that's not actually accurate. What they've said is that there's no evidence. Would you like me to answer the question or would you like to keep interrupting me? Can you answer the question? Can you ask the question and then let me answer it? The city manager said there's no verifiable evidence. A lot of residents on the ground have said that there is. That just was along the ground there. I've heard from many of my own constituents who have seen these things with their own eyes, who've seen these abductions with their own eyes, who've seen geese being taken out of local parks and slaughtered in front of their eyes. What do I think is a bigger problem? Insulting 20,000 people or the fact that my constituents can't live a good life because Kamala Harris opened the border? I think it's Kamala Harris needs to do her job and make people happier and healthier in this country. Last question, guys. Last question.